call me Mr. Miller. Mr. Mike. Call me Mr. Mike. Alright. We got a little something we want to talk to y'all about. Our apprenticeship. Uh, so we just want y'all to sit back, listen to what we got to say. We'll talk later. Cool? Right on board? I like it. All right. Students, let me tell you what we're doing. If you've got dreams in mind, we're going to show you how to pursue them. This apprenticeship is called Boys to Men, and life is like a game. And I know y'all trying to win, so listen up. In order to win, you need a plan. And if you think that you can't do it, we're going to show you that we can. Me and Carlos, yeah, we've been right where you are. Used to be little boys too. Now we have come really far. Graduated high school and then went on to college. And now we're here with you, trying to pass you boys some knowledge. First things first, you gotta learn how to grow up. Like how you expect to win the game if you don't even show up? There's a lot of steps you gotta take to reach the top, but even more distractions that will try to make you stop. In this apprenticeship, we're gonna teach you boys to be the best. And proper decision making will surely lead to success. It doesn't stop there, we also talking about the fighting, but fighting leads to fighting, we should be reuniting. Then we'll talk about the girls and everything there is to know, like how to be a gentleman and open up the door. In the end, we'll have a big wow, but you gotta sign up now, or you just might get left out. So think about it, decide where you uh, wanna wind up, and if you bought that life, homie, go ahead and sign up. <laughs> so uh, right off the bat, uh, if you haven't noticed, that's me over here in sixth grade, over here on the right. And that's me when I was in seventh grade, which is the grade you all, you all are in. So we've been there before. Um, you know, we've been right where you are. We're not that much older. I'm 25. Uh, I'm 22. 22. So you know, you'll be there before you know it. I remember like it was yesterday being in seventh grade thinking I was cool and thinking I had it all together. Um, and so with our apprenticeship, we want to be able to come back and help you fellas out and learning some of the different things you need to learn in order to become a successful man. Um, I'm from Houston, went to Kilo Middle School, graduated from A. Lee Taylor, then I went to college at Duke University, uh, played ball there, then I went to the NFL, played for the Indianapolis Colts, and uh, now I own my own nonprofit here in Houston. Uh, nonprofit organization, and we work a lot in the community. Um, I'm a um, senior at the University of Houston. I'm about to graduate this May, real soon. Afterwards, I'm going to go to grad school. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but eventually down the line, I plan to be a doctor in psychology. So that's what I'm trying to do, just uh, making my parents proud and all that. I'm from Houston, too, up north by the airport, Bush Airport. Went to Teague Middle School. I don't think y'all know about that school. Not that important. And uh, when we were these ages, you know, we had different ideas as to what we wanted to do. Um, I know I wanted to play ball. I knew I wanted to go to college. I knew I wanted to be in the NFL. And I knew I wanted to own my own business, something. And I'm sure uh, Mr. Bill had his things in mind. And we knew at that age, you know, we, we both looked up to people. And I knew that after looking at my brother, I knew that I had to do different things, make the right decisions in middle school, in high school, to get where I wanted to get. A lot of my friends making the wrong decisions, and I wasn't always perfect. Oh, don't let me, don't let, don't get it twisted. I made some bad decisions, but I made the, I made enough right decisions to get where I am today. And so within this apprenticeship, we're going to teach you about leadership, and teach you about responsibility, and the different things that's going to help you become a successful man. Um, and then at the end, for a while, we're going to have a big presentation where you'll be presenting with everything you learned in a skit format where you'll be entertaining your peers and teaching them what you learned and hopefully teaching them so that they know what to do. So that'll be a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of uh, team building activities such as soccer, football, things like that. Teach you how to be a good teammate. Teach you how to have respect for one another. How to go hard and compete. But also, you know, the different things that, uh, that real men do. Um, so, this song, I, I want y'all to get involved. I want y'all to ask, like, so we can get to know y'all, y'all can get to know us. Um, as Mr. Mike said, he looked up to his, his brother, I looked up to my dad. I want to know, who are some people y'all look up to? It could be anybody. It could be a basketball player. It could be uh, somebody in the music industry. It could be president. a movie star. Who y'all look up to? The president? The parents? 
Anybody have a role model? Somebody to look up to? I need somebody to raise their My mother. Mother? That's good. My mom and Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan? <laughs> He's a good one. Burger King manager. A Burger King manager? Corporate world, moving up. Anybody else? My papi. Papi. What do y'all think it uh, it takes to become those people? Like become a mother, to become a manager of a store, of a brand. What do you think? Independence. Said dedication. Dedication. Education. Great. Great answer. One, one more answer. Just give me one more before I move on. Responsibility. Responsibility. Definitely. To get all those traits and characteristics, you need to get a little bit of discipline and maturity. And like, here's something y'all might not know. Right now, there's somebody that looks up to you. Whether it be your little brother, your little sister, your cousin, kid down the street, somebody in the opposite class, somebody older than you might even look up to you and be like, man, that's, that's going to be a future president right there. That's going to be a doctor right there. Keep that in mind. There's people that think... Y'all are capable of greatness. So this apprenticeship is here to help you maximize your potential. It's here to unlock everything that you can ever dream of. I'm not saying y'all gonna like y'all gonna become a president right after ten weeks from now, but I'm saying y'all gonna get those traits to make you a better person, stronger, independent, dedicated, and educated. It's gonna be a lot of fun also. I mean, not gonna sit here and lecture you all day. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of activities. Um, you know, I'll be having some friends come in, uh, come in and talk. You know, former teammates of mine, things like that in the NFL. Um, you know, businessmen. Like we want to show you that it's possible for you to do whatever it is you want to do. Question. You you do like something? It's gonna be mostly football, Brian. Yay. Maybe a little bit, but you know, it's still the same. Are you quarterback? Yeah. Linebacker. Linebacker. Any other questions? Anybody, any questions? And sorry, uh, ladies, if you haven't realized, probably this is going to be just for boys. Uh, so, we apologize. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that's my next year.